What is up, guys? Expert Thief here. But you can call me Expert, and it's time for a nice, chill Saturday commentary where I just talk to you guys about different things. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about motivation and drive and that kind of stuff and what I think about it, how I look at it. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use an analogy. So in life, picture yourself as a car. That's why we got this race footage up here. Picture yourself as a car. You can be any car you want to be, but just picture yourself as a car. Not that car, though, because that car is no longer a car. It is gone. But um, yeah, picture yourself as a car, and you're trying to drive to your destination, your destination being your goals, your dreams, stuff like that. The only way you're going to be able to get there, though, is with fuel. And in, in life, motivation is the fuel for that car that we were just talking about. So the only way you're going to be able to reach your goals and get, and get there is to, to fuel that car that is you with motivation. So how do you do that? How do you get motivated? How do you stay motivated? Well, you probably know like when you're first inspired to do something, you already have a bunch of motivation. You're like, oh my gosh. I want to become this so badly and you you just you just jump right into it like let's say like a lot of people they are like oh my gosh I want to be ripped and they just jump right into the gym and then after a few days they're like all right this is stupid <laughs> and, then they, and then they leave they're like I can't do this this is too much work but um that's what it that's what it's like like in the beginning you just have motivation off the sheer idea of you becoming whatever it is you want to become or you doing whatever it is you want to do but then as time goes on you realize holy crap, this is actually work and this is not easy. Like with YouTube, I was just first super inspired. I was like, this is, I want to do this so badly. And I started making videos and you know, like barely getting any views, barely getting any subscribers, barely getting anywhere. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is a grind. Can I even do this? Do I want to pursue this? And that's where uh, the continual motivation comes in because people people kind of only fuel their car once. They drive until it runs out of gas and then they get out of that car and they jump into a new one and drive in that until it runs out of gas. And they continue to do that and they never actually reach their destination because each car they get into is programmed to go somewhere else. But if you find that car that's going to the place you really want to be at, and don't get me wrong, in life, like where we want to go and what we want to do switches up. If you look at what you wanted to do as a kid and compare it to now, I'm sure it's completely different. I'm sure it'll still change. That's just how life is. But if you find that thing you really want to go after and you're sure and you're, you're going towards it and you keep refilling the car with motivation every time it's about to hit E, you'll be really surprised at the places you will go. I sound like that Dr. Seuss book right now, The Places You'll Go. If you've never read that book, you should read it. It's actually really good for a children's book, okay? Dr. Seuss knows what's up. Don't judge me. <laughs> Green eggs and ham for life. But um, as I was saying, you never know what's going to happen. You have to keep a very open mind and embrace life because life has tons of twists and turns and your original destination can change. Your GPS can just straight up say rerouting and then boom, you're somewhere else that could be even better. No matter what you want to do in life, if you want to be a professional athlete, you want to be a doctor, whatever, just have an open mind, work hard, and stay motivated. Like, for instance, with me and YouTube, I wanted it to lead to acting opportunities, commercials, shows, movies, that kind of stuff. That's what I was uh, aiming for with YouTube when I first started doing this stuff. But it changed. It changed over time to me just wanting to have a successful YouTube career. Um, and that's what I've been working towards and things have been going great. I am really enjoying this journey and that's what it's about. You got to enjoy the journey. You don't want to just be obsessed with getting to the destination. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy, enjoy the ride. I don't even know where this is still going to lead. I feel like this is still really early. Like this is just the beginning. I've been doing this for years, but I'm really young. My channels are just starting to, to grow really well and I'm just enjoying the ride. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I appreciate and I'm enjoying everything that's going on. I really Thank you guys for being supportive and supporting me in this channel. I appreciate it. The people that are really there, not the people that are mean and the haters or the people that just care about thug life and are rude about it. It's one thing if you, you only like thug life, that's just your cup of tea. You don't really care for anything else. But there's people that are mean about it. They're like, oh my gosh, upload another thug life, idiot. Oh, it's been a whole two days. Where are you? Come on. And it's... It can be weird. It makes me wonder, why are you watching if you don't really like me? I don't, I don't understand the hostility. What's going on? You need a hug? 
You, do you need a warm blanket? What's going on? <laughs> I feel like I'm an artist that has this whole album of songs that I've worked on and I'm sharing with the world and, and they only want to listen to one song. They're just like, yeah, the album, it sucks. But that one song, Thug Life, I like that one. I'm going to put that on repeat. And it, it's just kind of, it could be a little bit annoying, I guess. But I really appreciate all the people that do enjoy my videos and that watch and support me. I love you guys. You guys make this worth it. You guys motivate me, inspire me. And that's what you got to do. That's the bottom line of the video is stay motivated, continue to motivate yourself, find sources of motivation and inspiration. I love YouTube. I love watching people make videos. I, I love making videos, engaging with people, and it's awesome. So thank you guys for this opportunity. I hope you enjoyed the video. We are coming up on the end right here. You can see the finish line. You can see me waving my booty. That's how I do, <laughs> but it's over. So thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Stay motivated. And until my next video, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. I hope this made sense. I'm not anybody special. I'm just a black guy. That's it.